We now join Darkest Dungeon on Instant Replay Live, already in progress. I was saying I was going to probably make a new party, so I kind of went reckless with buying a bunch of food for these characters, but uh, now I kind of want to keep just... my characters, too. <laughs> like, I'm attached well, already. You know, yeah, like, it's crazy because your characters will die, but uh, the one character that comes out, like, I've had, you know, a party that gets wiped all but one character, and it's like, this character is, like, my character now. Like, oh, yeah. He's the guy you've, that came you've out. Grown like, so attached. And, and, and so... You, you build up, the, like, those relationship over a, a roster of characters, over 12 characters. Oh, that sucks. Um, on, my, on my playthrough, like, all the characters that I have in my party are characters that I really, really care about. So it's hard for me to, because you can't, you can't keep all of them. They will die. Yeah. So you, you come to a point where you have to either kind of triage your characters, sacrifice certain ones, because they're just no longer worth it. Yeah. <laughs> you, uh, we think we probably unlocked the sanitarium now, which means you can cure quirks. Oh, but cool. it costs so much money. So if your character, you can only cure one quirk, quirk at a time. It, one quirk. They have, to, they have to sit out of the of the adventure, so it, they don't get de-stressed. They're just costing money and taking uh, time. Oh wow! And it, so you have to weigh: is it worth it rescuing this character or just letting them go? Completely destroyed by their time serving you, right? Like you've oh no, you've become kleptomaniac. You've become a, a demon all like demon obsessed. You. Uh, <laughs> You know, you, you flagellate yourself. But, you know, I don't think you're really fit for this party anymore. <laughs> if you could just, like, take the nearest carriage out of here. like nice. So I think I might die here. Oh, <laughs> and, nice. and then we won't finish the dungeon anyway. Uh, man, these, these dudes are scary, though. Like, Yeah, they're tough. These I guys, love mon mushroom monsters yeah, and always. The, like, the, like the skull like, below his, like, legs. Yeah, he's oh, like, man. It, and his legs are arms, I think. Or, well, these yeah, might be real legs leg in the arms. front. And then, yeah. Um. Yeah, but I, I'm always a fan of Munchkin monstrosities, like Mykonids and D and D and other things like it. Mm -hmm. They just. Did you say Munchkin monstrosities? I might have. You might have said Munchkin monstrosities. <laughs> those might. those delicious, dangerous desserts roaming the. I, the... I might have meant mushroom monstrosities. <laughs> Whatever I said. <laughs> but uh, Mykonids and D and D and those kinds of things, they're always like. They always look so cool because they look so gross, right? Yeah. There was a video game that came out that we might have to, like, dig up for the show because I never played it. Um, whenever we get to the point where we're doing, like, PlayStation games and stuff, mm -hmm. um, I never played it, but you play as, like, a little mushroom man and you get to, like, cobble things together and craft, like, your weapons and stuff. Um, and it, it always, like, was the thing I wanted to play. I don't know why I want to be a mushroom, but I do. Yeah, I can live with that. I mean, I, I remember um, the first time I played Mario RPG, the, the SNES version, mm. going to, like, the Mushroom Kingdom when it was really realized as, a, as, like, a civilization, and you go to different towns that are all filled with mushroom people. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I kind of am sad that Mario since then has not, I mean, I haven't played some of the RPGs since then, so maybe that's not true, but you don't get a lot of the mushroom people. Like, Toad is there as a playable character, right. but... I don't know a lot about them, but getting and to know that, that they had a culture in Mario RPG was so strange to me and so awesome. Like I loved going around to the various towns and just exploring every nook and cranny. Oh, totally. Um, you could you could play Game Boy with the one mushroom kid. I like how the party walks backwards. <laughs> uh, them out, though. Walking backwards oh. dresses them out. <laughs> oh God! Oh yes! Oh look, it happened. Adversity can. You were saying. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. <laughs> yeah, I I um I only played Paper Mario after Mario RPG, and it was pretty disappointing for that. Like you got Goombas and you know you saw their towns yeah. and whatnot, but you saw that already in Mario RPG too. In a or, weird way, not like, two, but the first one, <laughs> the only one. Um, I feel like the, I mean the Square Enix was behind Super Mario, and that's really exactly. what it comes down to is exactly. they fleshed the world out like. Final Fantasy world. It was divided up into towns and sections. And, yep. Um, but the Paper Mario games were designed like a Mario game where there were characters that were relevant, but you really only, like, you got to talk to the, the Koopa, the Flying Koopa that was your party member. Yeah, uh, but exactly. But you didn't know anything about the Flying Koopa's people. Like, whereas in Mario RPG, you had that whole entire cloud city that was, like, had a whole entire culture of its own, or the monster city, uh, Monster Town, Monsterville. Months. Yeah, do you remember yeah. Remember that though, I, RPG? No, I do. I know. Oh, yeah. So cool. You got to talk to the the piranha plants and oh man, 
Yeah. I, just talking about it makes me want to go play more RPGs. I, I really do, too. That's definitely one for consoles when we get on those, those on the show, too. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to lose my party here, though. I think it's going to be it. Please do. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> yeah, let's just go all out. Let's try to kill these guys. So I've had people, like, I've had I've had a dude that just survived a death door. Like, three dudes he's facing down. And he just, because <laughs> I think it's 50-50 chance, if I'm not mistaken. I might have oh, told okay. as much. But, I, like, hit after hit after hit. Death door, death door, death door. Still He's sticks still around. Still standing. Um, it was my barbarian actually. It's got to be a good fielding. That's probably yeah. why I like the barbarian so much. Is nice. In this, or the Hellion rather. Um, they're pretty baff. Baff. <laughs> they're bad as fuck. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, I guess that works too, doesn't it? <laughs> kind of accomplishes the job. Um, oh god. They're uh, Banff MLG. Pro 360. No scope. <laughs> 360 no scope. <laughs> <laughs> I, I spun around before I killed you. Yeah. Just to add insult to injury. It's it's a whirlwind barbarian. And then I come up and I 360 teabag you. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> that sounds like you'd have some torsion. <laughs> or expire. Uh, I guess I'll heal. Heal or expire, man. I mean, instead of expiring, I guess. All right. I was Dude, kind you guys of, are blighted, bro. Yeah, it's not going well for us. I'll tell you that much. We're missing left and right, too. This is no good. Oh, good hit. Yeah. Uh, I think I think they get a buff, too. Like, yeah, you can see the, the buff. Because he's, he's yeah, resolved. He's all, he's all manly fied. Yeah, resolute. Jeez. This is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. I, I got excited about it, and then I was like, mm, but people probably want to like, go do things. <laughs> People have jobs. I will and... feast on your heart. Wow. A hand's breadth from becoming unwound. Ooh. It's very easy to get focused on this. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. In fact, I'm focused on it right now. <laughs> yeah. I, I just want to see you die more than anything, honestly. Oh, I, I never thought I was going to wrap up, though, with what? the Paper Mario. It's not that the Paper Mario games were bad. It's just that they were nowhere near as good. Oh, right? yeah, like, sure. I enjoyed them. But I, I, every time I play them, I compare them to Super Mario RPG. Exactly. And the experience just never lips up. Lips, it lips pales up. in comparison. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I don't know if I said it, but Super Mario RPG is my favorite game. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. We talked about... You said Metroid, I think, before. Super Metroid and Super Mario Yeah. Uh, are definitely my top two. I mean, there's a sort of a triumvirate, right, with, like... Legend of Zelda, Super Metroid, and Super Mario RPG. I would Mario say RPG. that maybe Legend of Zelda, you know, is always a, a, a transforming thing. It's where Super Mario and Super uh, Super Mario RPG and Super Metroid are always at the top. Mm -hmm. I felt like Ocarina of Time, well, Majora's Mask is, and Ocarina of Time have dropped slowly over time. Um, they're both still, of course, like in my favorites, but uh, games like Journey have really just become kind of part of my favorites. Hmm. Um, Red Dead Redemption, the first Mass Effect, but none of those sequels. Um, well, what about just um, just favorite SNES games? Ooh, I mean, of is there course, anything Link that fast is going to be up there. right? Um, outside I lost, of I the, lost a dude. Oh, dude, who died? Uh, one of my two guys uh, in the oh, front the who looked too. the same. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. I think this is probably it. Should we? I mean, should we fight it until the death or? I, I think that feels like appropriate, right? All right. For the okay. lightest episode of Darkest Dungeons. For the Dungeons. lightest episode of Darkest Dungeons. Um, <laughs> nice. Well done. What are some other great well played. <laughs> SNES games, though? Uh, oh, Turtles in Time, of course, is way up there. Um, Ooh. Mario Kart. I love <sighs> shitty SNES Mario Kart. I never got into Mario Kart because you and I never played that. We didn't, but I played it later. Yeah, and I. Why didn't we play that? Like, we never owned it, did we? Um, Demon's Crest is fantastic. If you haven't Ooh, played that, I don't know that one. Um, it's a rare one. Uh, we had it at a, a shop that I, a game shop that I worked at. That's cool. I got to play it a little bit. Um, oh, uh, Earthbound! Oh, so good. On SNES? I, I didn't have. Wasn't that an NES game or no? It was on SNES. Oh. I had a bootleg copy of it though. It wasn't the original. Um, okay. Most of the copies you actually find of it are bootleg now. Um, Interesting. It was really, really good. 
Yeah, I uh, weird game. Just I, like so great and so. I've weird. never actually played it, but I hear these amazing stories. God, I'm. All of this is just getting me so excited for the days that we'll be able to play SNES games on this show. <laughs> well, I think. The oh, step, there it is. Yeah, play play on the Wii, right? We have. I've got some SNES games on my Wii. Yeah, we do um, too. Yeah, so. and some old NES games and stuff too. I ideally, I'd like to actually get an get SNES, SNES yeah. and do it right, but. Well, thank you guys for, for sticking with me all the way through to the bloody end of Reynald Gumbolt Mes, 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 Mesnage <laughs> and <laughs> Hall. <laughs> oh. um, and uh, let us know what you think about the lightest episode of Darkest Dungeons in the comments. Um, and maybe some other suggestions what we should play next. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bow wow Really kick it. Kick Yo, it. plans, free stroke, Sonic Golf. Sonic Golf.